大康自然健康中心成立于一九八七年，率先将自然疗法、同类疗法同埋碗创水疗引进香港。我哋提供各项整全性治疗方式，排除体内毒素，增强自身免疫系统，一切尽在大康自然健康中心。电话二五七七三七九八，网址三个 w d o n a t u r a l h e a l i n g c o m h k。以下节目内容。纯属主持及嘉宾个人意见，与本台立场无关。好，咁咧，今晚咧，我哋讨论嘅问题咧系一百万零一夜嘅启示。嗱，大家如果有留意我哋嗰个香港出路网上电台嘅节目啦，其实咧呢个题目咧喺我哋个预告嗰度咧系挤咗都好耐噶。咁因为咧，即系我哋当时啦，即系睇到出戏啦，有感而发啦。其实其实佢入边有好多嘢，我哋可以。即係討論嘅咁，咁我哋就大家話誒，然後邊位邊個未睇嘅？我幾位主持人啊，啊李永康啊，啊金永賢啊，咁如果大家未睇出戲咧，就大家先去睇睇先啦。咁咁即係因為我哋都想睇咗之後咧，就大家喺即係諗下啦嚇，呢出戲我哋俾我哋嘅有啲咩嘅啟示咧？咁咁當然啦，如果你哋有機會咧，係去誒、呃、一般嘅網上啊，或者誒、呃、有關呢出戲嘅網上咧，咁都有有好多不同嘅留言嘅。啊，亦都有啲誒不同嘅嘅講法啦，咁咁好多咧係講誒，由呢出戲咧係反映香港嘅電影界個發展啊，因為始終咧香港電影咧誒、啊、曾即係曾幾何時咧，香港電影係差唔多世界誒、啊、即係誒、啊、有名嘅，同埋咧每年咧係亦都生產好多好多出電影嘅，咁但係亦都知道啦喺誒喺誒印度啦。印度有叫做 Bollywood 嚇，咁即係佢哋好似荷里活嗰度咁樣，佢哋都係每年咧係都,都拍好多出戲嘅，好可能都我我數字我唔係好記得啦，好似二百幾出三三二千幾出咁戲嘅。咁但係當然啦，即係最即係最多香港人最熟悉嘅咧，就係荷里活嗰啲戲啦。咁嗱，咁呢一出戲咧喺誒誒奧斯卡嗰度咧係誒攞咗成百個獎嘅。咁誒喺好多人都喺度諗啦，即係點解呢出戲會攞獎呢？咁咁當然呢出戲本身係一個好戲嚟嘅，係有一個好特別嘅嘅故事啦。咁呢、這個呢呢出戲嗰、那個嗰、那個故事呢，都係原來係一位誒、呃、印度嘅好似外交外交官咁喺喺係佢寫嘅，寫咗呢呢呢呢呢個呢、這個小説嘅。咁由呢個小説呢，就係、是、就係、是、咧就拍為呢出戲咁。咁但係當然啦，亦都睇到啦，即係誒呢出戲亦都反映荷里活呢，對誒、呃、即係對即係。頒獎嗰個準則呢，其實呢都係可以咁講呢係有佢嘅獨特嘅之處啦。咁咁有啲人話：，哦，呢出戲點解要得獎呢？除咗出戲本身係拍得非常之好，個故事題材亦都係好好突好突出嘅。咁誒、呃，但係仲有一樣嘢呢，佢亦都可以話呢，係可能呢會唔會呢？係誒、呃、荷里活呢？係趁呢一趁呢個機會呢，係即係探討一下，即係而家呢個地球上嗰、那個嗰、那個貧富呢、這個呢、這個嘅問題嘅咁。咁誒、呃、當然呢出戲呢睇咗誒誒出咗冇幾耐啦，咁咁亦都好多嘅唔同嘅反應啦。咁包括呢喺喺印度呢，即亦都有啲人呢認為呢呢出戲呢，就係即係誒幾侮辱印度即係、啊就是、你睇如果大家有機會睇到呢，佢入面印度好多啲即係黑暗啊嗰啲嘢啦，啊警察嘅腐敗啊，啊個宗教嘅糾紛啊，咁其實好多好多呢方面呢，係即係唔係咁唔係咁光彩嘅嘢嘅。佢初初。得咗獎呢，印度政府都唔係好高興㗎喎。我、哦、當時有咁嘅反應，係咩係咩？係啊。咁、哦啊啊、原因係咩咧？當時印度政府唔係即係好似覺得揭露佢哋啲黑暗嗰啲囉。覺得即係你哋啲人嚟拍戲拍埋我哋呢啲陰暗面，污糟係即係啲即係即係毀佢哋國家咁樣囉。你你唔拍我啲好嗰啲咁樣咯，係啊係啊，即係哦誒應該咁樣講，即係未得獎之前係。咁成日話呢套戲啊好睇啊出面啊啲人哦嗰時未得獎哦係未得獎嘅啊得咗獎啊唔係喎得咗獎啊係係啊係啊好啊好啊係嘛係啊咁樣咯哦即係拍嗰種即係一個始終個故事題材咧，至於大家、啊、我相信香港好多人睇過嘅咁睇得出呢出戲咧都都瞭解啦，即係點解有呢啲咁樣嘅反嘅反應嘅咁咁當然啦，咁有啲人會講法咧，即係佢故事所講嘅嘢咧啊會唔會誇張啲咧？即係而家嘅印度嘅誒，即係呢個貧窮貧窮呢個問題呢，誒到底個真正嘅情況係點樣樣咧？咁即係大家有啲即係都會諗下，因為始終荷里活啊嘛，荷里活嘅片係有陣時係然後好好戲將個事情戲劇化嘅，可能未必係真正嘅情況係咁嘅。咁咧我又誒最近咧我認識一位朋友啦，咁佢係一位誒誒澳洲人嚟嘅。
。咁佢自己本身咧係一位誒、呃、工程師啦、啊、建築師啦咁咁，但係咧佢亦都係咧係誒從事咧誒嗰個攝影嗰方面嘅工作啦，誒、啊、製作電影啊，好多啲誒、啊、所謂 documentary 呢方面啦咁。咁佢咧就原來咧佢曾經咧都係邀請因應香港嘅一間誒、啊、機構嘅邀請咧。就係、是、去印度去拍攝嚇，即係誒誒嗰啲嗰多方面嘅貧窮嘅情況嘅。咁其實當時咧呢、這個機構咧係希望咧佢係幫佢去嗰邊咧拍一啲誒、呃、片片段啦、啊，作為宣傳啦、啊，作為將來咧就係、是、籌款嘅咁。咁呢位朋友咧係誒 Sue Royal 嚇、啊，咁啊 Sue 咧好開誒，即係好高興啦，係今晚咧佢可以嚟我呢度嘅誒。Welcome, Sue. You know,、uh, I just briefly introduced your background,、um, and then you know, the, you know the, the 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 feedback people have about this uh, this this uh, slum dog million movie, millionaire movie, and 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 of course, you know, and from from some、uh, Indian perspective, you know, they're really not happy、uh, having their dirty laundry, you know, about、mm-hmm. you know the poverty、uh, situation in in India. Uh, being portrayed, you know, and of course the movie becomes so popular and won eight、uh, Academy Award.、Mm-hmm. Um, now, I, I I understand that you you have you know you actually have been there and、uh, doing some documentary for for a fundraising organization in, in Hong Kong,、uh, not not long ago, right? Uh, a little while ago, actually, it was in the 90s, and I went there over a four-year period. Four-year period. Yeah, I, I visited、um, a home there called Future Hope, and they、um, housed street kids, ex-street kids, and they fed them and educated them, and it was quite well organised. They had、uh, over a hundred boys and about three or four girls. Not many girls were staying、oh. there. And、um, at that time, I I made a documentary to help record and sort of、uh, help them with some fundraising, actually.、Mm. Um, so in the documentary I made, we interviewed a lot of the children to find out what their stories were and how come they ended up on the streets. So I was in Calcutta,、uh-huh. which isn't where the film、uh, Slumdog Millionaire is set, but it's. Somewhere、uh, is in Bombay. That's think, right. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. Mumbai. But、uh, Mumbai,、yeah. Calcutta's very similar, I think, and it's it's very poor. Yeah. And there's a station there, the main station called Hara Station. So a lot of these children、um, lived there before they came to Future Hope, and they have a mixed bag of stories as to why they were living on the station or on the street.、Uh, some of them got lost. From their parents,、uh-huh. they maybe they were on a train or in the market, and they they lost their parents, and they end up at the station. So that's a pretty sad story. Some of them、um, didn't like their home life; they were beaten and not well cared for, and they ran away, and they'd end up sort of down there. There's a market、mm. near the station too, so they can kind of get food, and.、Um, Yeah, so a lot of them ran away, and they didn't have good home lives. Some of them don't even know, can't remember their family or how they ended up on the station. They're quite young, a lot of them, about six or seven, when they when they move to Future Hope, and it's not a nice place to be living. There's a lot of abuse by adults who live there. You've got to imagine a, a train station not like the West. This is a station where. People are sleeping everywhere on the floor at night.、Mm. Families, children, you know, adults.、Um, it's not a very savoury place. One of the children said he slept on platform seven because the police never went there,、mm. and so that was his spot. It was safe because the police used to come around. I heard this from a number of kids, and they beat the kids.、Mm. Um, so they didn't have a good relationship with the police. The children, and、um, doesn't sort of say too much for the police either how they they treat them, and there weren't many girls, and the story I I heard from the boys is that they get taken away by the police,、mm. so you can only speculate speculate what's happening to them. I mean the boys thought that they went to some girls' jail. Yes. And later, when they're older, they're released in their twenties. But you know, you don't really know.、Mm-hmm. The girls couldn't run away from the police as fast as the boys. 
So their situation's not very good. When they come off the street, they have a lot of health problems, uh, you know, worms, um, sort of diseases and mm -hmm. venereal diseases. They're all usually sexually abused down on the stations. And they also have a lot of psychological wounds that mm -hmm. um, takes a long time for them to open up about. But also, I mean, that sounds very grim, and it is, they have a lot of fun at the station because there's no parents, there's no mm -hmm. one telling them anything what to do. They have mm -hmm. total freedom. And uh, if they want to go swimming, they just jump in the river. If they want to go fishing, they do that. If they want to travel, they jump on a train. Um, they're really free. So some of these children who... Uh, first arrive at this children's home, they run away from the home and go back to the station. Oh. One boy who was about 15, I, I met him when he was about 10, but he was then about 15 the last, um, when I did the interview, he said he ran away 12 times from Future Hope back to the station. Oh. And, but now he's very settled. And he said um, it's because, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun as well at the mm. station and they're they're kind of wild in that sense you know living that kind of life amongst all these people so it takes a while for some of them to settle down into a routine where they have to do their own laundry and they, ha they have to fit in to a schedule mm. and they do school work and things so that gives you a little bit of a, a background of, of those kids I did hear you know thinking of the movie because yeah. the movie's got some nasty parts in it. One child did tell me he, he saw a child um, killed by some thieves. Uh -huh. He did see that happen. And um, many of the children were, uh, the person who founded this organisation is Tim Grandage. He's British and he used to work for the Hong Kong Shanghai Bank uh -huh. uh, in Hong Kong and then he was relocated to Calcutta. So he started meeting these these um, children anyway he would go down to the station and and bring some of them back to the home every now and then and they were very worried that he would sell them this is what their fear was they didn't know what would happen when they got in his car what would happen to them oh you the kids yeah he tried to rescue yeah oh. and they'd heard there was this tim uncle who would come oh. and they'd heard from their friends who had been at future hope and come back to the station because they're allowed to go out of future hope right you know it's fine and we're happy and all this but they're yeah. very afraid like in the movie they get oh. taken away and is, uh, these are nice people hmm. but they're not so there must be things that happen, you know. Mm. That, that the main theme was they were worried about being sold. They would sell me. So I don't know what that looks like in India, mm. but mm. maybe something like that goes on. But so then they're very relieved when they find they get there and there's a hundred boys there, and they get fed and dewormed and and new clothes and they s sort of start a new life. Mm. So I mean, um, you said that this, this future hope home. Mm. Um, they 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 managed to to take care of about a hundred some children. Mm, mm. That's right. But the problem is probably in the hundreds and thousands. Right? Oh yes, um, mm. it's far greater. And in fact, I talked to the the people who manage the place about that, and they had to make a decision because they they said. The number of kids they have in the home just depends on how often they go to the station. You know, oh. if they go every night, they'll bring kids home every night. So now they don't go so often. And they had to decide, are they going to work on quantity or quality? Mm. And were they purely just going to feed some kids? Or were they going to try and give them a better life and an education? So they, their groups opted for a number they can manage and educate they have about four homes they live in with ha Indian house parents who act like parents and so they have a sort of family atmosphere. Mind you, it's a big group. One of the houses has about 40 or 50 kids and they get buses to the, uh, the, this race course they go to and play football and rugby. They have oh. ev activities every day to keep the kids happy and right. occupied. Um, so the, the, the problem's vast. They're, they're just a, a sort of 
um, impacting it a little. But as they looked at it, they talked about hopefully having a ripple effect. Mm. They felt that if they really helped some kids well and got them educated, that at some point they would be able to support their families and then also maybe be they, they always had sort of a soft spot for street children, these kids, because this mm. is where they've come from. And they feel at some point as they're adult, when they become adults mm-hmm. that they will give back somehow and the, the pool gets bigger of people right. sort of helping. Yeah. Uh, now, you said that uh, they started that in the 90s. Yes, yes. The early, I, it might have even been in the, in the 80s when it started, uh-huh. but when I sort of came across it, I, I was a, um, a freelance photographer at the time here mm-hmm. in Hong Kong, and I was asked to photograph Tim, the founder, for an American Express story they were doing on this man who was a bank manager and, and then ended up leaving the bank and setting up this home. And uh, I met him through that and he invited me and the journalist mm-hmm. to visit the children. And I said, yes, you know, I'd yeah. like to. And the journalist said, yes, it was so inspiring, this mm-hmm. story. And then I just thought, if I don't do this now, it would probably be one of those things I said I'd do and never did. Mm-hmm. So I actually organized within a few weeks a trip that would take place two months later, but I booked my ticket. And then I went there, and it was very inspiring. That's why I went back a number of years meeting these children. Even though they're from the streets, kind of the low end of life in India, mm-hmm. there's something very special about them. And uh, their their school teacher principal said that they are um, what did she humanists she calls it I guess she means humanitarian mm. there, there's a deep they have a deep sense of love for other other people and other children and they're very generous and loving it's just amazing and yet they have nothing and they're so grateful for the food they're eating for the mm. education for the teachers that someone would be willing to teach them. Mm. It's very different from our upbringings where mm. we just that's for, taken for granted. We don't right. really have that sense of gratitude and they're right. very grateful. So even talking to them, they're, they're grateful you're, you're spending your time with them. Mm. Mm. Ah, doctor, right. uh, I just 女議長是第一個由自民階級他們是否因為宗教那個模型的階級就在這裡 what, what we really, you know, uh, in, are interested in is not really uh, just a movie, you know, it's being a good movie. But we really want to know um, the, the, the poverty situation, you know, uh, not only in India, but actually in many, many other uh, countries in the world. Uh, of course, you know, uh, if we were to, end, uh, to try to understand why, why India was stuck in such a, you know, uh, a, a dire, uh, a poor uh, situation, and we can think of many reasons. Even in the in the in the in the movie, uh, they, they, there is a religious uh, kind of uh, rivalry, you know, among the Muslims and the, and, the, and the Hindus, and probably the Christians too. And also, India has a, a, a entrenched uh, caste system. But supposedly, uh, after Gandhi's uh, uh, 
liberate India from the British Empire, and that was abolished. Right, supposedly the caste system was abolished, but of course, in in uh, in actuality, it's still more or less being practiced. Is, yeah. is that your observation? I mean, you you've been there, you know, in and out for for a number of years now, right? Yeah. Um, I can't say it was obvious. Uh, I mean, the caste system must be there, mm. but I'm not there seeing. Oh, this is that caste, I and see, you're this yeah. caste. Yeah. Mm. Um, but in re- reality, you know, prejudices don't sort of mm. die quickly in a culture. If if you mm. have a prejudice against a certain right. religion or race, it's passed to your children and it's sort of in you from a young age. It just mm. doesn't go out because there's some law that says um, something against it. Yes. So uh, the cast, the children are really the low caste. And I do know they they're very conscious of that label on them. That oh. it, it may mar them. Um, I think some of them didn't really pe- want people to know they were street kids. Some of them are in were in some good schools. They had their own school, Future Hope School. But some of the boys went to some private. I don't think very expensive, but better right. schools. And they were very conscious of their background because the other boys who went there had normal families, mm. and and the Future Hope kids didn't. And uh, I think the caste system is still there. You know, if you're from a lower caste, you don't have the job opportunities and people probably look down at you. Mm-hmm. And, and so that, that's a problem, I think, in yeah. India. Because yeah. I remember in the, in, the, in the early 70s when I was you know, studying in the United States, I met some Indian uh, graduate student. And then I remember he told me, he was showing me this string he was wearing. Mm. And he said he belonged to the priest cult, you know, priest cult. Oh, I, the Brahman, is it? The Brahman, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, so obviously, at least in those days, yeah. you know, they they're still very conscious and aware, you know, that's what they you know, try to preserve. Untouchable,对不对? Some question. Some 我們一陣會深入討論為什麼現在的討論會這麼深入 the Future Hope basically started by this ex Hong Kong Bank executive team but more or less it's still Operated by with the help of local people. Oh yes, right. Yeah. Social, you couldn't social, do it without. Right. Yes, um, some of them are sort of social workers as well, uh, and um, yes, there's only sort of a few Western people involved, and they do have Western people who hear about the place who want to come and volunteer for short periods and have that experience, but they have um, many house parents and Indians who are there looking after the kids and uh, and also that's the language of the children mm. and the culture so that's very important that they connect with the children and have those people who are really um, got their heart for the children you know I, I remember you mentioned you know there was a family a, a, a quite a well off or well to do family you know and that family uh, was taking care of uh, quite a large group of, of, of kids and then you were filming them right and then you know there was some something happened you know they want to portray how they want to you know the, the, the home uh, life to be portrayed and uh, oh that wasn't my film there was um, there was actually uh, they did have another film crew film uh, mm. for uh, European television and yes now I, I 
I, I know I remember now. Yeah. So they they have a few houses where they live in, but housing in India in Calcutta is very expensive. I don't know if you've heard, but real estate in India is quite expensive. So they don't own all. They, at the time, they didn't own all these homes. Now there was a wealthy family who had a, a big home, and I think just the grandma lived there. And out the back, there were buildings, and mm-hmm. she had allowed um, the organisation to use. Mm-hmm. These buildings to house some of the children. Yes. Mm, okay. Now we we'll, we'll just take a few minutes break and we'll we'll, we'll come back. 哎呀，你轮转天气，风湿骨痛，好辛苦啊！奶奶，我啱啱买咗一个最新科技嘅太空小铃声，可以迅速舒缓任何痛症噶，咁就唔怕风湿骨痛啦。哇，咁好噶，咁啊买多个分享下俾阿姨婆啦。太空小铃声可以喺六创意健康店买到。电话二八八二四八四八，网址系三个 W d o H E A L T H S H O P d o com d o H K。好啦，咁我哋继续诶，今诶翻嚟讲翻今晚我哋嘅讨论嘅题目啦，就系一百万零一夜呢出电影嘅启示啊。咁其实咧喺诶最近啦，诶、呃、大概都好似系十二月咁咁嘅时候啦，咁我就去咗哈尔滨。咁去睇個冰雕啦，咁去咗長春啦，咁咁喺嗰度呢，我就、呃、有機會呢係睇到呢。誒、呃、第一我發現呢，住原來中國大陸呢，誒嗰啲物價、呃、一般嘅餐廳啊睇電影啊就食一啲哈根達斯嗰啲價錢比香港貴嘅入口嚇，咁、啊、就跨跨唔到貴成誒七十個 percent 咁多嚇打沉水嗰啲。咁所以我覺得呢，我我當時我一睇到呢個嘅誒即係個現象啦，我覺得咦香港香港冇問題啦。咁因為咧，始終呢，即係不斷有有有誒，即係誒中國嘅誒遊客呢，會嚟香港買嘢啦。早都有排。好啦，咁我咁有咁有次呢，我就喺海邊嗰度呢，就誒，即係誒參觀有啲有有一個有一個地方呢。咁有個人呢，就為咗保護嗰啲嗰啲嗰啲雀鳥嗰啲候鳥呢，咁就堅持呢，就係即係賣咗佢自己啲誒。誒、啊、誒、啊、屋啊，咁喺嗰度喺度呢，係嚟到守護呢啲咁樣嘅嘅嘅雀雀鳥嘅，咁所以我哋喺嗰度，咁亦都呢，喺當時呢，我就遇到一啲誒、啊、當地嘅人啦，咁嗰啲老人家退咗休嘅，咁、嗯、我同佢傾起嚟啦，咁想即係了解下即係而家中國佢哋個生活一一般嘅情況點啦，咁咁、嗯、我問佢啦，你哋一般嘅即係一般而家嘅生活呢，一個月呢，係大概要幾多錢到啦？咁咁佢話呢，就係、是。誒二百零三百蚊人民幣一個月都 OK 嘅，即係都覺得幾好噶啦咁。咁佢話咧，原來咧喺而家中國咧，佢哋誒即係譬如哈爾濱好凍噶嘛，係咪？咁、嗯、如果到冬天嗰陣時候咧，咁啊政府咧就會津貼佢哋嗰個，即係嗰、那個誒誒、呃、電電費又好，即係總之佢哋唔會唔會凍親嘅。啊，即係呢啲情況，即係即係佢唔會佢唔會讓你中國人咧，因為冇冇冇暖爐啊，冇暖氣啊。咁冬天就凍死啊！咁佢話個政府咧會會會俾錢佢嘅。咁即係你可以睇到呢，喺而家嘅中國呢，啊、呃，我感覺上呢，其實真係真真正正赤貧呢個問題呢，其實已經係唔多見㗎啦即係大致上呢，係差唔多呢，都都處理咗㗎啦。咁但係點解即係即係嗱、呃？中國嘅人口而家十三億啦。咁印度嘅人口呢，其實亦都係、呃、可能都九億喎，係嘛？係啦，八八九億嘅啦。咁即係大家都有一個、呃、一個人口嗰、那個嗰、那個問題嘅。咁誒，咁、呃、其實某個程度上呢，誒、呃、中國都曾經都係都好好好，即係好好貧好貧窮嘅。咁中國嘅最近嘅武器呢，都係講緊係最近啲十幾二十年嘅事啦，即係十幾年嘅事啦。咁咁咁，即係我就想即係了解下，即係點解中國呢可以誒？呃即係咁快可以誒脱、呃、貧喺呢度。咁而嗰個印度呢？咁印度印度啲人唔係唔係唔係唔係冇腦㗎，係啊，又唔係唔係冇腦㗎，因為呢，誒、呃、印度嘅大學嗰、那個誒誒係好多嘅，即係一般嘅教育都幾幾普及嘅。咁同埋呢，原來喺美國呢，誒、呃、原來以一個人種嚟講呢，收入最高呢係印度人。唔係白種人，唔係猶太人，唔係中國人，唔係韓國人。以一個以一個一個即係民族嚟講呢，印度人喺印度人咧喺美國呢係最有錢嘅。咁原因好簡單，因為去親美國啲全部啲咩呢？係醫生啊，好多醫生嘅，即係醫護人員啊，全部都係嗰啲係啦，即係即係可以話技術人員嚟嘅。咁所以你睇到呢。
喺誒，即係喺印度咧，喺美國嚟講咧，印度人嗰、那個誒嗰、那個誒，即係嗰個收入咧，係以一個人誒。即係一個種族嚟講咧，係最高嘅，竟然係最高嘅咁樣咁所以我哋都好想了解一下咧，即係點解咧個個分別會係咁樣樣嘅。咁誒 ，so you know basically what what you know my recent experience in China, I went to uh, uh, the ice ice、uh, ice cafe show, you know the sculpture show in in、uh, this past winter, and I I chance to talk to some of the local people about you know their their basic livelihood there. Yes. And then I was told you know it, it only costs about two three hundred. Remain be a month to live there, and government actually subsidize the heating bill, so to make sure nobody really die from from you know from the winter cold. Right. So so I get the feeling that in China、uh, the abject poverty、uh, problem more or less has been、uh, taken care of,、mm. you know, and and yet we know you know the two country, India and China both have a huge population,、mm. and although you know the in China in, in you know. It's, I, I, you know, because of the、uh, government policy of one-child family, is is more or less, you know,、uh, being controlled.、Mm. At least in a way, much better than India.、Mm. I, rem- I I understand that、uh, Indira Gandhi used to enforce st-、uh, sterilization on men by、right. force, and of course,、mm. you know, it wasn't a popular、uh, policy.、Mm. But then, you know. Uh, the population in India is really, you know, a, a growing at a much faster rate. Yes.、Uh, both country still suffer from corruption. You know, I mean, still it's still quite prevalent in both country.、Uh, is there any way we can explain why? You know, why China tend to uh, uh, come out of this uh, 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 poverty problem、uh, faster than in India, much faster in India? Aaron was saying that、yes. maybe because the caste system, you know, that kept people there, or have you any thought? Well,、know? I do have some thoughts. I must say, I'm not an expert on、mm-hmm. this answer. You know why? But、yeah. my sort of ideas, firstly, um, on the chi- China has、um, the ability to be organised somehow.、Mm. You know, it does have this communist structure,、right. and it does have an iron hand if it needs to. So it can mobilise people. It can set up, you know, do the、uh, what's the gorges, the three gorges, yeah, the, and yeah. produce hydrogen. Yeah. You know, equivalent to ten、the、nuclear mega, power yeah, stations. The mega structure they build. That's、yeah. right. They can do this. You、mm. see, they have this capability to do things on massive scales. And I'm sure it's not just in engineering.、Mm. It's probably all across the board. They have some sort of structure and system and order.、Mm. When you go to India, I know you've been there. The, the first thing is is chaos. Yes, I was I in Calcutta for one month studying homeopathy. Right, <laughs> yeah, and it's chaos <laughs> everywhere.、Month. Every street is is chaos happening. It must be some sort of, you know,、yeah. people know what they're doing,、hmm. but、um, it's very disorganized. So you have a very disorganized group. Uh, it's democratic, which I sort of tend to think a billion people in a democracy is a tough call. You don't、mm-hmm. have that iron fist to make mobilise things.、Mm-hmm. Um, politically, they've they've got many parties. I yeah, think yeah. you know it's not this cohesive unit.、Mm-hmm. Then they have、um, many other things, like、uh, we were talking earlier about karma. They have this、yeah. belief in karma, which is sort of. Um, maybe you did something in a past life, and now this life you're sort of being punished for it, or this life you're being blessed. You know, you might have a good life. So they have this idea that could be a reality of reincarnation,、mm. but I don't think China really has that idea. So you've got a whole populace that really believes in reincarnation,、mm. and that maybe this is their lot in life, and maybe be more willing to accept it. Mm. You also have, you know, quite extreme things in India. Visually, you you might see a holy man who's wearing almost nothing with bits of paint on him,、yeah. and his whole life, and he's revered, you know.、Mm-hmm. And most countries they wouldn't revere someone looking so poor and、mm. thin, but、uh, it's just a whole different world. And then you did mention they have、uh, the, you know, conflicting religions,、yeah. the Muslims and the Hindus. Mm-hmm. They have a lack of education.、Mm-hmm. I did go to someone's house through one of the kids, and it was so poor; it was the size of, you know, three, four meters by four meters or five meters. That was the house.、Mm-hmm. It was one big bed for the parents and the three kids, 
and uh, there was raw sewerage in gutters outside. For the, uh, there were a lot of little houses. It was sort of out of Calcutta a little bit. And it had an adjoining wall to the next house. And there was a little, little paved court area out the front. Not pretty, just concrete. Mm. And then the next house was a Muslim family that had eight children. Mm. I think they were all under 10 or very young. Mm. All living in one room. Mm-hmm. Probably not going to school. And so you have a lot of the culture or people there having a lot of children. They can't feed them. They can't educate them. It's hard to get out of a cycle mm. of a country when you've got maybe a lot of people in this sort of predicament and they're not well educated either to know mm. how to get out of that. I mean, even I was thinking earlier of America. Yeah. America has sort of had a caste system, although mm-hmm. they wouldn't call it that. But they've had, you know, the white men have been on top mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. maybe the white women and then the black men and the black women are probably way down there. And it's changing. Right. But, um, you know, even Oprah, she came from a very poor black background with uh-huh. no hope. Uh-huh. But she believed education was very important. And by getting very well educated, she could lift herself out of poverty which she did. Yeah, she did. She mm-hmm. did, and it is possible in that country mm. that if you're well educated to, and then become someone successful, they do admire success. So even though she's a black woman, mm-hmm. that's not in the way of, well, you're successful, so we admire you. But right. maybe in India, I mean, the education might get you through, but whether there's still a caste thing on you, mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm not too clear. Yes. Yeah. You know, because. Um, uh, when I was in Calcutta, you know, I, f- I, f- I think it's probably the worst uh, uh, cities in, 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 in India in terms of the population, you know, pollution level. Um, I remember that uh, if you were, even during the daytime, the pollution was so bad, you, you can't really see very far across the street, you know, maybe a, a one or two block, and then you will be kind of a ha- hazy, mm. kind of yellowish, you mm. know, all, 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 all day long. Mm. So imagine um, even during in, 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 the, in the middle of the day, mm. it was still kind of like a hazy all the time. Mm. At night time, um, there's not much of a street light and the car, for some reason, they don't bother to turn on their headlight when they mm-hmm. drive. Yeah. So only when, when they see you know, their people, then they want to uh, warn you of their, of, their, of their coming and they will kind of turn on a little bit. I don't know right. why, you know, maybe they think it's a way to save the battery or save the, right. the life, you know, of the, of the light bulb. Uh, so, to me, it was just like, wow, you know, like hell, you know, I mean, if we were stuck there, car, and then yes. everything is done very slowly. Yes. And, uh, and uh, we were, we were put in a, uh, to stay in a, a YWCA, um, because we were all just students, you know, st- students from, from overseas, from England, you know, we're going there. To, to, to study homeopathy and to, to kind of do some uh, hospital uh, uh, runs and observations. Um, and I remember, you know, they were, they were always sweeping the floor you know, all day long. And it's, it's a non, non-stop process because by the time you finish <laughs> one end, the dust gathers and you have to sweep all over again. <laughs> oh, dear. So, and uh, even the mattress, you know, if you hit the mattress, you can, you can gather all the dust going on the floor. You know, it's just, just yeah. thick layers. Yes. And uh, even in the, there was the, they have this uh, a tennis court, clay court. So they were digging up one claw, one, one of the uh, clay co- uh, tennis court, and so people were playing on the one side only. And then after oh, they, right. they, they, they fixed it, this one, and then they go and dig up the other side. It's amazing. I, 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 right. I saw things I just couldn't explain. It's kind of very frustrating. Yes. And I tried to uh, uh, go to the bookshop, the homeopathic bookshop, and try to buy some books. And then um, y- you see the book on the shelf, but then you, you can't go over there. There's a, there's a counter there. Mm. And then if, if you want to get the book, you have to write the name down. Mm. And then, you know, the, uh, the, the, uh, the store clerks will go and check yes. it on the shelf. Yes. You know, so, so, so to, you have to keep writing the book down and go, say, oh, yes, we have it. We, you know, either we have it, we don't have it. So in the end, I was so fed up. I said, just why don't you let me just go over there on the shelves? You know, I buy whatever I want. Yes. <laughs> so right. I managed to buy a few boxes of books. Then I, I can't carry that with me back to Hong Kong. So I tried to mail it into the oh, post office. Post My office. goodness. They don't sell any stamps. 
because the stench will be taken care will be will be probably be sold will be stolen by the postal worker. <laughs> so you, so you can't even <laughs> sell any stamp. So you have to line up to a certain area and then you 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 pay for something and then uh, you they'll put some you know some chops on 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 your parcel and then you have to go to another line. And if you ask them how to do it, nobody knows what's going on. Yes. It was so frustrating, you know. And yes, I just yes, so that's right. so the thing is that you know I guess you know why and yet people. Kind of very calm, you know. They, you mm. know, if you walk on the street, you can see your cars, you know, just going going by you very close, and they will be honking, honking away, mm. and then you know, chasing people off the street. And people never get mad; they just kind of move, 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 yes. move to the side, and yeah. then let things go on. Even though it's a noisy hustle they, and bustle, right. cars <laughs> they used to it. <laughs> so I I suppose you know if if you were not like that. Uh, you go crazy, you know. I I I I remember. It was one month was more than enough. I just have to quickly leave, you know, because I'm so frustrated. Nothing gets done there. So you can see, you know, there's a reason f- why why a country, you know, becomes so poor. Yes. You know, and uh, yeah, you know, everybody try to do something. You know, what 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 can be done? You know, mm. what can be done? So China, because of the uh, socialist kind uh, move, and then they eliminate tradition. Old culture, mm. s- in some way, is is a barrier, you know, to people. Uh, they, re- they you know, they they kind of minimize or suppress you know, most religious activities there. Mm. So, in some way, you know, it will make change easier. You mm. know, and once China de- decide to become industrialized, you know, then everybody just go for money, money, money. At mm. least they have a, they have a goal they can pursue freely. At least freely, mm. you know, even though there's a lot of so-called privileged class. They are kind of uh, making use of the uh, rules and regulations and new law to to to, to make money, and I mean, it's, it's probably well recognized. Mm. But at least the country, uh, as a whole, you know, is is becoming more and more uh, wealthy, more prosperous, and we can see that. You know, the abject poverty is really not not that. Uh, uh, it's quite rare, you know. If, if we were to find them, you probably they will be quite rare in. Yes, you know, in, not uh, like in, in India. I mean, yeah. I did describe the stations, but uh, maybe you saw this just mm-hmm. driving down the street at night. In, in, yeah. in most streets, there's people lying down right. on the pavement everywhere, sleeping. That's where mm-hmm. they sleep at night. I mean, thousands of people <laughs> everywhere. But I want to understand, is that in India, people. 又又唔覺得需要改嘅喎，佢哋。咁可能就因為佢哋嗰個宗教同埋嗰個嗰、那個即係、就是、等級嗰、那個嗰、那個枷鎖咯。佢認為佢係唔係即係嗰個咁就唔唔唔使啦。Untouchable 就 Untouchable 咯。You you can't do much。唔係即係嗰啲嗰啲鐵路啊嗰啲咧，即係英國人留低就係咁嘅咯。係啊，都冇咩改進嘅喎。係咪嗱？有啲人係中意印度嘅喎，成日有時。聽下聽下 Doctor 周講啊，哎呀好正啊嗰啲，即係啲靈性嗰啲。係係。嗱呢樣嘢啊 ，There's so many Indian gurus, right? They're spiritual leaders. 係咪係咪 ？Oh, gurus. Yeah. And 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 yet, you know. 誒得㗎啦，嗰啲唔使㗎啦，我哋我哋啊，即係 spiritual 嘅啊，即係我哋呢個國家係咪咁咧？係咪又可唔可以用呢個理解咧？ Yeah, so you don't really know. I mean,、uh, I mean, in spite of this, all all these、uh, so-called spiritual guru there, and yet the country, you know, is 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 ridden with、uh, with this what we you know what we what, what we saw on on the movie, you know, corruption, you know, violence and、uh, mm. kind of、uh, inhumane treatment on children, you know. So、yes. so how you know、mm-hmm. how, how do we make make of this? You know, my, the situation is like the situation is like the situation is like the situation. 即係又又係有自民等級噶嘛？即係嗰陣係解放啊嘛，係啊係啊，宗教嗰方。佢哋又係好好受嘅喎。嗯嗯嗯嗯。咁點解達賴咁咁受敬仰啊？即係佢係佢係被委任嘅指定嘅嘅嘅精神領袖咯，係咪？唔係即係佢宗教要。即係即係啲西藏人咧，佢又即係我去過一次一兩次嘅。啊，雖然你知我哋有，即係 similar c a s system in 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 即係佢又係咁嘅喎，即係唔好唔好發展啊！即係我哋呢個 spiritual 啊，又係阿 Doctor 周講過，佢嗰啲可以摸到個天嘅， yeah, 你明唔明我意思 ？They can reach the reach the the <笑> reach heaven， 即係幾類似喎、啊，即係直至梗係啦，共產黨即係接收咗，係我要發展啦咁樣咯。
即即又係咁嘅喎，其實。Tibet in 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 some way was kind of very laid back. You know, there's no、uh, no real uh, uh, urge or incentives, you know, to make any、mm-hmm. any changes. Yes. 唔，佢佢會唔會咁樣咧？即係佢好似覺得好窮，係一種贖罪咧。我唔知啊。Yeah, it's just the the karma. 但係西藏就係喎，嗰啲人即係。Being poor is a karma. You know, there's an afterlife. 即係譬如佢啲苦行咧，咪即係點樣啊？即係點啊？五體投地啊？嗰啲咧咪慢慢。Yeah, yeah. 咪嗰啲咯。The word, yeah, the ritual, the worship, you know, that people go. I, you know, I don't know whether maybe it's a way of、uh, of adapt adaptation. You know, if you are in in that kind of environment,、mm. uh, the, I guess you know there's no way out, there's no、mm. no way you can no breakthrough. So what can you do? You know, rather than going crazy, you you just sort of. Uh, mold into it. <laughs> mold into yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> I think also I was just thinking that.、Um, A difference with China. I、mm. think China, as a nation, a great country, has always had vision, big vision. Oh, okay. Whether okay. You know, like even the Great Wall of China, yeah, built yeah. a long time ago, it was a great visionary、mm. act. And then the logistics of doing that, they were able and capable、mm. in probably quite harsh conditions、right. to build this. And then the desire to hold the Olympics,、mm-hmm. and then at such a high level, you know, the buildings are,、yes. were fantastic. The opening ceremony, everything was just amazing, and it just couldn't happen in India. It's, it's this、mm. vision matched with sort of logistic capabilities. I don't know if that's a Chinese trait, or、mm-hmm. I mean, Hong Kong certainly got、right. the logistics part. I don't、mm-hmm. know about the vision、mm-hmm. part,、mm. but China has always a grand plan. And I remember, you can quote me if I'm wrong. I heard someone telling me that Deng Xiaoping had、mm. said,、um, "We will all be rich. Some must be first." Okay. And I, I thought that's really a great thing to say. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. the vision's been laid out. We can all, yeah, we can all, <laughs> yeah, we can all lift out of this poverty, and some must be first, which is actually true. Yeah. It's very diplomatic, right, but right, it has、right. that vision for everyone. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, 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 yeah. 嗰、那個問題引致到窮啫嘛，早期嗰時候啦，早期咯，五五五六十年代嗰啲咯，未開放之前，未開放之前咯，即係個政策上引致啊嘛。咁、嗯、你咁你鄧小平，即係又係搞思想開放啫。你一開放，咁嗰啲人嗰個生產力咪出嚟咯，係、嗯、咁簡單啫。Yeah, because and, you know China was was basically an uh, uh, agricultural uh, 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 society for a long time.、嗯 And、uh, they see that you know the way to to come out of that to 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 prosper is to through、uh, industrialization. You know, I mean that's what Europe you know get developed is through our technological development. And、uh, so, because you know, it, it brings back to to the to the to the、uh, recent movie that you know, we talk about about the Zeitgeist. You know, the Zeitgeist, the first episode of Zeitgeist talk about the original religion. Basically, all religions share the same same origin. They they talk about you know、uh, the birth of Christ in in all the major religions. You know the 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 you know the the, the three kings. You know uh, 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 pilgrimage to to Bethlehem. And apparently, it's not just uh, uh, peculiar to the the Christian religion. All all religions have the same origin, same sources. So in some ways, I guys the first first um, uh, documentary. Uh, Try to dispel, you know, the you know religion.、Uh, try to unify religion, really. So, and then recently, Zai Guys Addendum talk about, you know,、uh, offer a really concrete way to solve our world's、uh, poverty problem. Is is the technological solution? Because you know, basically, you know, it's right. You know,、uh, what changed our our standard of living is not because of the, not because of uh, 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 different、uh, political system changes. It's really, you know, it's a technological change. You know, look at the industrial revolution, and that is the start of our technological advancement. And、um, and the thing is that、uh, why are we why are we still stuck in this situation when, we, in fact, we do have all the technology necessary to elevate, you know, the the plight of humanity.、Uh, for you know, 
being in natural medicine, I'm very well aware of, of this many, many effective uh, 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 healing techniques and tools, uh, in particular for the treatment of cancer, which mm-hmm. is now you know, the number one killer in, in the world. We have the tool, you know, we have the technology to, to, to cure cancer effectively. And that happened in the, in the early 30s and 40s. And over the years, we have different kind of uh, ways to treat you know, many of those diseases that we are stuck with. So, and, and then we know recently we explored you know, the issue of uh, cheap, clean, free energy. And, and this, has, this have, you know, has been available. So I feel that you know, we, we have ways to, to come out of our, to get out of this rut. You know, and the solution you know, is very clearly uh, explained in this um, uh, side guys movement. You know, if people are really interested, and you know, we talk about you know, this side guys movement you know, a number of times, and I feel that you know, uh, it, is, it is the way to go. You know, we don't we don't have to be stuck the way that, you know the way it is now. So, um, well, you know, once again, you know, time is uh, running uh, out very quickly. So we thank Suf, you know, for being our guest thank and you. Uh, yes. sharing your experience right. in India. And uh, so we will uh, we, we will see you again next week. Yeah. 好了，下次下星期再会啦。时间都够晒啦，拜拜。Bye bye.